Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I'm Richard and it's... Fan Solo Creations has done it again. We have a new batch of figures and they are absolutely fantastic. I totally want to share them with you. The first set of figures we have are the Tonica sisters. In Star Wars, two tall girls appear together in the cantina scene wearing matching cat suits and with braided hair piled high on their heads. Played by real life friends Christine Hewitt and Angela Staines, they were known by the simple production nickname Space Girls. These are characters that have been pretty much ignored throughout the years. There hasn't been any kind of official creation of these characters. And I do think that Hasbro has finally relented and created the Tonica Sisters, I think for the release of that large cantina. But Stan Solo Creations beat them to the punch, got theirs released much sooner. Here is Brea Tonica in her blue cat suit and her piled high hair looking absolutely fantastic the hair detail is absolutely amazing and so well done and of course the card back looks fantastic the photography is great and clear and stan solo has chosen to give it a 21 card back and now it's Seni tonica and you can see that the outfit is pretty much the same, but the color obviously is different. And of course the coloring and the detail is absolutely fantastic. And the hair is piled high, just like her sister, and a phenomenally designed figure. And then the card back, and of course, is another great piece with fantastic photography. The card itself is reminiscent of the standard by Kenner and has the same kind of waffle stamping on the the bubble. It all just looks fantastic. When you put the figures together you can also see that Senny is taller than Brea. That is the kind of detail you get with Stan Solo Creations. And the other figure I got is another droid and it is R4E1. And this is one of the great things that's happening with Stan Solo Creations is that he's producing the droids again. And I love it. These droids look amazing. And here's another one that's absolutely fantastic. This droid R4E1 can be seen at most nicely where Luke is um, selling his land speeder. What's absolutely amazing is the quality that was given to detail, to world building in Star Wars, where they had this droid that's seen for a few seconds, and that's it. And that's what's amazing about these movies. And we can add this droid to our collection, build up our, our cantina displays or our most nicely displays, make them look busy and just fantastic. And here is the droid and I love it. Got all the wonderful details that Kenner would produce with the sticker wrapped around, the head clicks. It's just an absolutely great looking figure. And it has the feel of the Kenner figures because the stand solo quality is that these are like Kenner. And you can see on the card back that once again, we have a great looking photo taken from the movie. It's a high quality stock. So the, the card back is not flimsy, like it should be like the original Kenner card back. This is a really great time for collecting. Who to think that we'd continue to expand on our five POA Kenner style action figures. These make for wonderful additions to anyone's collection. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.